Hey guys, AP Builds, we're back. And this is gonna be the first part of the Pee Wee 80 build. So I think it's what, 2000, 2001? It's a 2000, 2000. Uh, Pee Wee 80. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be um, doing a um, reroute of the oil injection. So we're just gonna cut out the oil injection because it runs really lean, right? Yeah. It runs really lean. So, because it creates its own mix. But actually, it runs really rich. Really rich. Yeah. So, right, what right. I'm gonna, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start putting in our own mix that we use in the 125. We're gonna do a 40 to one ratio. And apparently, it's just be a big difference between um, the oil injection and your own premix. So, we'll get started on that. Show you guys a top speed run of it before and after. All right. A little top speed run on this thing real quick. So we're just going to do as fast as I can go on the street right here. So we'll start right here. Ready, set, go. Alright. Alright, so as you saw there, it hit 25 miles per hour, which not really surprised. Um, it doesn't really have whole lot of top end but it does have like some sort of good torque that it has in the low end perfect for trails but now that being done let's look into bypassing that oil injector so we can run our own premix all right so first step we want to take with this is that we want to remove the seat and the gas tank and the gas tank only has to come off so you can get easy access to the carb from this side because there is this little line that we're gonna have to remove that goes to the little fuel or oil pump and we're gonna have to make that line reroute so we're gonna do that so what i'm gonna do right now is take this off probably drain the fuel that the four stroke fuel that's in it take this out and then we'll mock up whatever we're gonna do <sighs> the seat has not been off in a little bit probably clean this up a little bit um yeah so there's a little bit of oil in it as you guys can see clean this all up right now and let's get that off too for those who like maybe don't do this on the regular or Maybe we just have never done it in general that make sure you remember how each and every little piece goes back like this little bolt goes in this way right there and just remember that how this goes the little triangle piece goes on the tank side and the rectangle goes on the frame so let's take this off and drain the gas and i'm gonna do that off camera because it takes too much time and we'll look at that oil injection all right i've emptied the gas tank over there taking off the seat so all now we gotta do is remove this little line, which I will go ahead and do. It's easy as that. And wow, not too, too hard. But you know, you just remove that line and I'll get to that. Make sure it comes fully out. All right, I pulled out the carb just as a why not because I don't remember the last time I actually cleaned it and it's leaking fuel everywhere, but I'm gonna clean out the jets and just so when we put the 40 to one mix in, it's a nice easy passage, just no blockages, if any, but she's running fine, just might as well do it. Let's get to it. All right, there it is opened up. It's not too bad. Um, looks still looks pretty good. The floats are in good shape. Bowl did have a few little pieces of gunk, but nothing too serious, and I haven't pulled out the jets, so I'm gonna pull out the jets, see what they look like, and reassemble it. Okay, and just so we can get all this sorted out, and then we can get straight to the oil injection bypass. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your little oil cap from the little oil tank, and there's gonna be a little hole right above it, and it's not gonna be too wide. So what I went ahead and did was got my drill, and honed it out just a little bit, not too much. Just enough for a thin line to go through so the oil can return from the pump. So let's go plug this other end into the pump. You guys, so I showed you where it pokes into the cap. So you dip that back, route it to where you can kind of hide it in, within the frame and behind the plastics. And what I did here is that this one's slightly long, like wider. This one's slightly like a little bit thinner, so I just shoved it inside zip tied it off so it doesn't come loose and for this plug and this is not an oem carb but this is where it went into so i'm gonna just have another little piece of line to and i close it off on this side and then after that it is ready to use pre so let's just do that and we'll pour some gas and fire up 
All right, guys, I have everything assembled, fuel lines back on, the air filter is connected back to the intake, have the little bypass connectors going, I have the plug to plug off the oil injector where it would originally go, seats back on, tanks back on, let's turn it on. Let's see how it sounds, maybe it sounds a little better, I don't know, but... All right guys, you saw how it sounded. Now let's go put the GoPro back on, take it for another top speed run, see if we gained anything. But it sounds a lot better in my opinion. But all right, let's see and get you guys on that camera right. Feels a little snappier. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let's take it to the street now. I swear it feels a little better. We are running 40 to 1, I believe. So let's see. 3, 2, 1, go. I don't know, she's felt a little better in the higher gear. She felt nice. All right, guys, you saw for yourself. You guys tell me what you think. I think it actually feels a lot better, even though it only gained one mile per hour. Um, also, that's not topped out either, but that's all I can do right here. But she does feel a little better, and it's good to know that now we can do whatever mix that maybe she desires. We have a little gas tank for her, so if we want to experiment with mixing, and I also need to start experimenting with air fuel since it is now a more lean mixture than what was in it before but i think it sounded pretty nice um and this isn't going to be the last episode of it we're going to have a little continuous build on this so it's more of a pit bike than a little kid trail bike we're going to try and get it on par to like something like this ttr 110 that we have here but it's going to need some work and maybe we'll take it into a track one day and compare them but as for right now, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to see more of this, please be sure to leave a comment on what you guys would like to see on it. And like and subscribe so you guys are always knowing when this is getting going to get posted. And I'll see you guys later.